Are there any Harry Potter couples that you wish would have coupled? Mm. Didn't. Are you one of those people that goes and finds those shipping sites? Not the shipping, but you know, where they're like shipping people to get, whatever. Um, do you want to see what it looks like to mash a couple of Harry Potters together? <laughs> we're mashing people together? And I said Harry Potters. Yeah. So what we're going to do here <laughs> is we're going to draw out of our wonderful cups different names from Harry Potter and decide how they would be as a couple. Are you yep. ready? Yep. All is right. this a bad idea? Probably. Are we still doing it? Definitely. Why not? Here ready? Yep. Madam Maxine. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have uh, Tom Riddle. Oof. How do you think old Tom Boy would do here? Um, he would. He would. You know what? I don't think he'd be a fan of her being a half giant. Here's the thing, Madam Maxine. I like. She was being wooed by Hagrid, right? Yeah. And wooed to come to the good side, which also means that she there's a potential of her going to the bad side, right? So I could totally see this working out for but Tom. But she's not a pure blood. Um. You're right. Tom probably didn't like that. But I don't know. Maybe he liked bigger boned women. We don't really know what he liked besides, I guess, Bellatrix was strange if you Gross. count Cursed Child as canon. He liked torturing bunnies. I mean, that sounds like something Madame Maxine might be into. So I just don't think this one will work. You mean the video or this couple? <laughs> the couple. Fair enough. All right. Oh, All right. Good. What's next? You go first. Neville Longbottom. Petunia Dursley. Okay, hold on. I don't. I don't know how this will work. The age. The age difference is a problem. I mean, yeah, but will Petunia work with anybody? Huh? No. Right. Like I don't know if she'd be a good couple with anyone. She wouldn't. Yeah, and Neville. I mean, is this after his glow up where he's now the cool Neville nice. that, that cuts off the heads of snakes? <sighs> Or is this um, before that? Maybe he has like mommy issues and likes the older women because of his trauma. He might. I, it, it could be a thing. What a horrible wish for a kid. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think Petunia fails. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to just fail this as a uh, aunt, bad bad coupling. We need a button. Aunt. Yep. Two so, out of ten. So far, bad video. One out of ten. All right. No. Okay, we're up. Hermione Granger. Professor Coral. So the real question here is, is this before, before is this for stuttering? Yes, that one. Sorry. Is this before Professor Quirrell goes to Albania and gets Voldemort in the back of his head or after? Let's say before. Okay, because uh, like before it seemed like he had his stuff together, enough to become a Hogwarts professor at least. True, but he is evil. I mean, details. Okay. Um, right? I mean, uh, they're probably both really smart. I mean, I think Quirrell's probably there. I'm, I don't know if he's the the brightest wizard of his age by any means yeah um but but you know here's the thing i know about hermione she okay. likes older men she also kind of likes the underdogs because that's how you end up with with ron um and uh she she knows how to settle that's not true she knows how to settle i i think she settled i think so too she went from victor Crumb it just went to, for like to ron weasley just comfort you know yeah it's Which like is Fine. It's like when you can't decide where to eat and you go to McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. No, I go to McDonald's because it's cheap. I, if I can't decide where to eat, I go to Firehouse. No one knows where that is. Firehouse is in Utah. There's a bunch of them. You should come and go. Yeah. Anyway. So, <laughs> come to Utah yeah. and go to Firehouse. My point is, Ron Weasley is the uh, fast food of Harry Potter choices. I mean, of couple of choices for Hermione. Yeah. Does this video suck or this what? This video is not great. It's funny because uh, we're still going. Molly Weasley. Oh, Abel Fourth Dumbledore. Oh. Here's the thing. I think they'd be great. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think Molly would be great with just about anybody. They're, if there's somebody that would her love heart. her. Yeah. Like, like if there's someone that would love her. And, and Abel Fourth just seems like he needs someone to love him. He's had trauma in his life. He's he's had a lot of things. He, he just needs a place to go and Aww. be loved. And not talk about his brother or is his he sister. Too old for her. Uh, I don't know how old Molly is. Like assuming, like something happens to Arthur. What? Hold on. Wizards live a long time, so that half your age plus seven rule gets a little strange. So half your age plus twenty. Like, well, I mean, even if you just do the half your age plus seven, like I don't know how old Abelford is, but Dumbledore is like one hundred and thirty something, okay. right? Okay. So, so half of his age it means seventy-seven. Like, but how old is Molly? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Okay. -ish. So, so definitely 60. can't be double. But, but if double, if Abel Forth is a few decades younger, yeah. then then it'd be just fine, right? But I, I don't know. So, 
I, maybe she likes older men. Plus, there's this thing, like, younger women can marry really old men all the time, it, especially if they have money. Does, does Aberforth have money? He has a tavern. Cute. Seems like something that could bring him money. You know, I think that's our best one yet. I think so, too. Okay. Which shows how crappy this video is. All right, next. Should I go? Yeah, yeah. Pansy Parkinson. Ah, Mad-Eye Moody. Maybe we needed to stick with all high school aged or all adults. Or I just assume that they're an adult Pansy Parkinson. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Right. So an adult Pansy Parkinson Ooh, she had the hots for the... snappy and mean. The, so is this Barty Crouch, Mad Eye Moody, or is this Mad Eye Moody? Well, we know Barty Crouch, Mad Eye Moody better. Yeah. So I guess we could use him. And I feel like Pansy Parkinson and, and Barty Crouch would have been a better couple than Mad Eye Moody. And, All right. Cross it off, right? Barty Crouch, and we have our number one. So far. Number one so far. Bad, Barty Crouch and Pansy Parkinson. Junior. Barty Crouch Junior. Oh, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Who you got here? I don't know. It's so folded. Dolores Umbridge. Lee Jordan. Okay, this one's not going to work out. <sighs> Sorry, Lee Jordan. Here's the thing. Jordan. I think, potentially, the only person for Dolores Umbridge is Dolores Umbridge. Oh. Harsh. But... Right. I just, don't, I just don't think there's another... I don't think there's a relationship there that would last. That evil woman. Yeah. I, I don't... I just Although I could see her, her bossing Cornelius Fudge around. That's funny. Um, right, I mean... Okay, I, I, I and then on it. the flip side, Lee Jordan I could see with just about anyone. Yeah, I could see it too. he would just be... Like, he just feels affable and, and anybody could... And yeah, right? Humor. Although he, he does uh, have some quick-witted responses to certain things in there, so... So maybe he would, he'd be that person that like, likes driving his spouse nuts. Yeah. Or his partner and nuts. And can like talk her off a ledge. Yeah, maybe. Or onto the ledge, depending on what his goals are there. So Dolores and Lee. Yeah, you're not, you're not making the cut, no, I think. That's not, no. Oh, okay, well. It's pretty horrible. I only have one more. Do you have one more? I've got a few more. Oh, I'll make up more if we need. Okay. Nymphadora Tom. Oliver Wood. Now here's the thing. Nymphadora Ooh. is the opposite of Dolores Umbridge and Nymphadora and, and Lee Jordan are like the same where they would be the best. Yeah, Nymphadora, I think, well, first of all, she could look any way you wanted. So <laughs> that's a thing. Um, <laughs> right. So there's that. And she just it feels like the personality, uh, she would fit with anybody. Yeah, because she can like she's got a heart and likes to help people, right? Yep. You know that with Lupin. But then she's got Sassy streaks. She's yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and so Oliver Wood uh, might be closer to her age. Actually, it's yeah. unclear kind of where Nymphadora is at age wise. Um, and and Oliver Wood's a little bit older than Harry. You know, I could see it working out. She could have gone for the younger man, the younger Quidditch playing man. Handsome um, man. Yeah. Right. So interesting. Okay. All right. I, Not I a bad one. Right. Not a bad one. I think that's the winner so far. Okay. All right. Are Not you going to draw one yeah, out of I'm your? I'm doing a pretend one. Okay. What do we got here? Lavender Brown. Uh. Horse Slughorn. Huh. Huh. Here's the thing. Lavender Brown always made me feel like she was chasing recognition. Fame. Yeah, Fame, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Horace Slughorn is always chasing recognition. Wow. I think they would go around trying to collect friends and things rather well together. Okay. Right? Okay. And she would probably like the idea that he was... Um, has all these famous friends and, and be used to them. It's probably more of like a sugar daddy situation here. Sugar daddy. But but uh, I could I could see it working out. Yes, same goals, same ambitions. Yeah. Cute. All right, all right. All right, what's the last one here? Jenny um, um, um. Weasley. Victor Crumb. Ouch. Um, sorry, Harry. Yeah, sorry. I, I do that to I, you. I, I, I think Victor Crumb just won. Victor <laughs> Crumb's like the LeBron James of... Uh, um, Quidditch, right? The Tom Brady of football. But he doesn't play football. It's the he'd be the Tom Brady of Quidditch, <laughs> or the LeBron James of Quidditch. The picture comes with Tom Brady of football. Sorry. Means he's the best football player. I didn't player. mean to say it like he that. He might be. I don't know how good Victor Crumb is at football. So uh, but, sorry. But here's the thing. I think Ginny would be smitten. I think uh, they uh, would play Quidditch all the time, all day. Oh, and they're little kids. All day. Yep. I think it it would be great. Um, you know she has the things for seekers. Mm -hmm. So I mean, uh, this one this one feels like a slam dunk. Here's to me. the thing: Ron's gonna hate that relationship. Yeah, but Ron is now in a relationship with somebody else because Hermione is now in a better relationship. So maybe Ron can now marry Minerva McGonagall. I don't know. I don't know. Just throwing out options here. Wowzers. I'm not sure. 
Um, maybe Luna. Luna needs somebody. Although Harry seems to have a soft spot for Luna as well. He named his child after her. So, I mean. <laughs> I love the, the fact that Harry names his child after things and Ginny gets no say in this conversation. Poor Ginny. Yeah. Victor Crumb it is. Yeah. All right. So here's, here's my question. Who would be your uh, Harry Potter relationship? With me? Yeah. Definitely Fred Weasley. Why? He's just... Uh, Why not? He's, he's, he's like hilarious. Could you tell the he's difference between Fred and streak. George? No, it would take me a second. Okay. So what happens when you find out that you actually made out with the wrong brother? They'll laugh their heads off. Yeah, but what would you do? Oh, I'd cry. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I think this would be bad. They're going to be kind to me. I don't know. I'm their wife slash sister-in-law. Ooh, I jumped to wife really fast. You did. You just you just married Fred. I just married Fred. Oh, I love that guy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. This is where we, we leave this. Wait, no, no. Who would you Who would you? I don't, I don't know. With? I don't know. I don't know what the options are here very much. There's not that many women in uh, enough. In things. We just had a whole bowl full. You, and I came up with you, something on my brain. You literally just ran out before I ran out of gas. Because... They all got ripped up earlier. No, they didn't. They like you just didn't have as much. Or right. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I'm, just gonna go, I'm just gonna go floor. Uh, that's a cop out. Yeah. Why not? All right. They're they're two dimensional objects, anyways. Characters, not women. I'm getting careful here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they don't have much personalities. Might as well go with the enchantingly beautiful one. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Well. Let us know who we should have put in here. For the record, we drew them at random. Don't be mad at us for pairing your favorite characters together. It's not our fault that Ginny and Crumb are much better than Ginny and Harry. It's just fate. But it was an accident. So, uh... Isn't, aren't all fates accidents? I mean, accidents fates? That seems like a topic for another day. Okay. okay. All right. Like and subscribe. See ya. Bye.